seventh grade, lesson 118. This one is on copying angles and triangles. And we're also going to be using the compass. And um, we're also, let me see, they've got two different things they're wanting us to use. The compass and a protractor. Okay, so let's talk about um, a protractor first. This is a protractor. And when you're using a protractor to draw an angle, here's what you do. You put a point, okay? And in the middle of your protractor, there's a dot with a hole in it. It's meant for your pencil to put there, okay? So I'm going to put it in the middle of this dot. Now, I'm going to draw a 60 degree angle. So what I do is I know that a 60 degree angle is less than 90 degrees. So I know I'm using these small numbers. There are two different sets of numbers. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and it all goes all the way to 180. Then it goes 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, all the way to 180. So you need to know if you're drawing an acute angle or an obtuse. Obtuse is greater than 90. Acute is less than 90. So I'm going to use these little numbers because I know I'm drawing an acute. So right here it says 60 and 120. I'm going to use the 60. Here's that line for 60. All right. I'm going to go in and draw a line right here, okay? So, there we go. And then here's my 60. So, guess what I do? I use the bottom of this with that. And I've got a 60 degree angle. You see that? Okay? But, let's say I wanted to draw 120. Okay? I'm going to put my dot and my line. I'm going to go in and draw a line. Okay? And I'm going to draw a 120 degrees angle. We'll put the middle and the center. Oops, I ended up upside down or inside out. Okay, so now this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, all the way to 120. And here's 120. And I know it's going to be a fat angle because 120 is greater than 90. So there is 120. Okay, this length is 120. This length is 60. That's how you draw an angle. Now, let's say I wanted to copy these angles from a book onto my paper. You use a compass for that. Okay? Now, this is a compass. And I've taped uh, a um, wet erase on here, a pen. And I'm going to use it to copy. So, this is what you would use. Let's so you'd have a pencil right here. Okay, so what you do, your very first step is to copy, when you're copying this, is this. You're going to put this, it's got a, a really sharp, it's the opposite of the pencil. Here's the pencil and here's the sharp edge. You're going to go from here and you're going to um, measure however long or short you want, okay? But I'm just going to go from here to here and mark a line. So, I'm going to come down here, put a dot, and mark a line. See what I've done? Mm -hmm. Now, let me go and draw a, a line. This is my line. Okay? Now, my next step is, I'm going to go up to this second line, put a dot where this, um, uh, put a dot where, or put this in the center of that dot, and I'm going to draw a line there. So I'm going to go here and draw a line there. Now that doesn't make much sense, but you're going to leave that there for a minute. Now, I'm going to take this right here and measure from here to here is how long. Okay, I've got it. So now I'm going to come down here and go See where the X marks the spot? Mm -hmm. I am going to draw a line through that X. So watch what I do. All the way to my dot. And I've got a copied 60 degree angle. Okay, let's do the 120. Okay, remember your first step is to draw a dot with a line. Okay, and I'm going to measure Whoops. <laughs> from here to here and put a mark. So from here to here. And I can put it anywhere on this line. Okay? 
but I'm going from here to here. They both have to be the same. So here, here. All right? Now this time I'm going here to here. I'm still keeping the same measurement that I had. This next one I'm going to change my measurement. I'm going to go from this spot, open it up, almost got it, to this spot, okay? And I'm going to make an um, X marks the spot, X marks the spot. Then, oops, beautiful. And I've got a copied 120 degrees. Okay? And that's what you do on all of them. If you're going to copy something, they may even give you a triangle. And let me show you this triangle. This is our last one. If I had a triangle, okay? What they're, whoops, I should have done that part yet. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, um, actually, let me just draw a triangle up here. And we're going to copy it. Okay, now, I'm going to take this first corner and measure it to the second corner. Okay. Okay, that tells me that's where the second dot is. You with me? Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to go from this one to this one. Good. Then I'm going to go from this one to this one. And guess what? Simple as that. I go from here to here. And I go from here to here. And I have a copy triangle. See that? Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much all you do. And you're going to be using a compass and a protractor to do these two. Okay? That's lesson 118.